and they felt panic stricken at the thought of not seeing him again. Well, I'm pleased to say that Celia Johnson did catch her train from Platform 3 in the nick of time. I've long had a visit to Carnforth Station on my bucket list and I have to say I'm not disappointed. The station was once an important railway junction, but is now best known for its connection with the movie Brief Encounter. There is something romantic about railways, something about journeys, travel, and even going to work. In the film, we meet Laura, who enters the refreshment room with a piece of grit in her eye. Alec, a local doctor who was waiting for his train, comes to her rescue with his handkerchief. They share a brief moment of physical contact and contemplate adultery, but back away from it and part forever. David Lean originally contemplated using Watford Junction for filming, but the Ministry of War Transport said no as they were concerned about filming in the London area because there was still a possibility of bombing as the Second World War neared its end. Instead, he sent his production team out to look at other locations where they discovered Carnforth. There's an awful moment at the end of the movie where Laura, played by Celia Johnson, rushes out to the edge of the platform possibly contemplating suicide after she said farewell to Alec, played by Trevor Howard. She rushes out onto the mainline platform just as a night express was racing north and her face really does show she's really contemplating what to do. You can read her mind at this point, but she then decides she's going to go home to her husband and children. She steps back and I guess the whole theme of the movie is about stepping back, almost like today when we are asked to stand behind the yellow line. The romance of the railway lives on at Carnforth Station which was called Milford Junction in the film. The refreshment room where the characters first meet was restored in 2003 and is a thriving attraction these days thanks to the work of a number of volunteers. It's open daily and offers a range of homemade food plus a selection of teas and coffees. This is the location where Laura and Alec first met in the refreshment room. Many of the interior shots from the refreshment room were filmed at Denham Studios in Buckinghamshire. The studio set did bear a very close resemblance to the genuine Cornforth Station refreshment room. The winter of 1944-45 was bitterly cold and Celia Johnson mentioned in one of her letters where she was very impressed with the Cornforth station master 
who she described as an old-fashioned gentleman who raised his hat every time he saw her and allowed them to warm themselves in front of the fire in his office between takes. Before I visit the award-winning Heritage Centre, let's see some of the trains that I saw during my visit. David Lean, the film's director, is reported as saying that Carnforth was chosen as a location because of the slopes from the subway onto the platforms, which allowed the actors to run up and down the slopes. He went on to say 
that Celia Johnson would have looked somewhat ridiculous running up and down steps. Brief Encounter was filmed between February and May 1945, with the Carn Forth element being filmed during the February. Most of the platform scenes were filmed in the late evening, after the last local train had departed, and finished early in the morning, when the first local train started arriving at the station. The story about the film is told in the award-winning Heritage Centre on Platform 1. By stepping inside the Heritage Centre, you immediately begin to soak up the atmosphere of bygone times at a Victorian railway station in which is displayed a wealth of railway memorabilia. Brief Encounter was filmed during World War II and this room is dedicated to the lives of the people of Britain living on the home front. This was very much an era of make do and mend and you can see at first glance just how the nation coped with rationing bombing raids and their aftermath. These displays are really fascinating because they give you an insight into the hardships that people faced, along with the constant worry about loved ones fighting abroad. The exhibition highlights the resilience, the humour and community spirit shown by the British people. As a railway enthusiast, I found the age of steam galleries fascinating. These displays bring to life through memorabilia, photographs and film, Carnforth's past as a thriving railway town and a major railway centre. You can learn more about Lancaster's lost railways as well as the end of steam at Carnforth in 1968 and the story of the nation's steam railways in their heyday. In a number of my videos, I've mentioned the effects of the beaching cuts of the mid to late 1960s and here at Carnforth, services were scaled back considerably. Back in the day, Carnforth originally had six platforms, but the West Coast Main Line platforms were closed in May 1970, following the withdrawal of local stopping passenger services. The platform walls facing the fast lines were demolished, cut back and fenced off, making Carnforth a secondary line station. As a result, West Coast Main Line trains cannot call at this station, even though it is situated on the Main Line. After lying in a semi-derelict state for many years, the station buildings were refurbished between 2000 and 2003 and were returned to commercial use with this award-winning heritage centre a small railway museum and the Brief Encounter restaurant room being set up. This delightful vintage cinema is one of the star attractions of the Heritage Centre. The cinema has plush tip-up seats and it's where the film Brief Encounter is screened approximately 1500 times a year. The accompanying exhibition tells the story of how Carnforth Station became the fictional Milford Junction. The Link Gallery features four visiting exhibitions every year, highlighting local talent from railway art and photography to textile design and poetry. Meanwhile, 
The Bateman Gallery contains the only exhibition in the country celebrating the internationally acclaimed film director, David Lean. The exhibition draws together information, photographs and film documentaries kindly provided by the David Lean Foundation, the British Film Institute, as well as David Lean's son, Peter, and his grandson, Nick, and it gives an insight into his illustrious career. Brief Encounter premiered in London on the 13th of November 1945 and received widespread critical acclaim. It received three nominations at the 19th Academy Awards, Best Director, Best Actress for Celia Johnson, and Best Adapted Screenplay. And many critics, historians and scholars cite the film as one of the greatest of all time. There's no doubt that Brief Encounter is an iconic film and it always features in lists of the best films ever made. The Heritage Centre reflects bygone times and many visitors flock to the station with its distinctive platforms to see where parts of the film were made. The gift shop here offers a number of souvenirs about Brief Encounter along with a whole range of books, videos and DVDs along with postcards and railway memorabilia. A visit to Carnforth Station is a must, not only for railway enthusiasts, but for film buffs from all over the world. Highlights for me included the refreshment room, which has been lovingly restored to its 1940s splendour. There was also the film room and gallery in the Heritage Centre, with its screenings of the film, Brief Encounter, along with an opportunity to learn more about the film, its cast members, its locations and other background information. As a railway enthusiast, I particularly enjoyed visiting the steam galleries with its memorabilia, artefacts and photographs from the golden age of steam. And last but not least, there's plenty of opportunity for train spotting. Not only to see the local stopping services that call at the platforms here at Carnforth, but also the trains that travel at speed through the West Coast Main Line. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope it will inspire you to visit Carnforth Station, which is a classic railway station from the golden age of steam, as well as being a major tourist attraction.